Hey guys, welcome back to Vince Vale Customs. So today I am uh, doing a review on my Iota Revolution CR airbrush. Now, this airbrush is not an expensive one. I actually think I got this one under 100 bucks somewhere. It's a workhorse brush. It is specifically for me doing solid colors on a statue. So say I got a base I'm working on and I need to do it all in black. This is the airbrush I pick up. If I'm doing an item that's got to have all chrome silver on it before I do any candy coats, this is the brush I pick up. So it definitely pushes out metallics and pearls no problem. Tamiya, chrome silver out of the bottle, pour it in, it goes through no problem. Uh, Createx colors are pretty thick, goes out of it no problem. Uh, it does, uh, as you can see, it doesn't come in a fancy case. It's just your typical, you know, foam uh, plastic container. Uh, just comes uh, pretty cheap. It doesn't uh, have the stopper on the back for pulling it back. It's specifically dual action. Just push it down and pull it back. Get it out. I don't use it for detailing. No deal with detailing whatsoever. Uh, it's just a basic, uh, you know, I'll fill up the cup with a color, spray it down, get it all nice and even, and then let that sit before I do any detailing, and then I clean it up. It does not come with a quick disconnect. I bought that myself. That's anywhere from like 9 10 bucks, uh, 12 depending on where you can find it at the time. But if you're looking for a brush that's just fairly cheap, but you want to do some really heavy coats on stuff, this is the airbrush to pick up. At least this works for me. So what we'll do is I'll put it up, and we'll get a board, and I'll show you how it sprays. And it's pretty much a simple, down-to-the-point airbrush. No problems with it. Just spray it and run. I, uh, as far as um, parts for it, I've had it for maybe four or five years now and I haven't even picked up a needle for it yet it's just a uh, it's just a very thick needle just a thick airbrush and that's all I use it for so let's set up I'll show you how it sprays and then go from there all right so we're set up I'm going to kick on the light and we're gonna kick on the compress uh, airflow it's gonna be a little bit noisy but I just want to show you exactly how this sucker sprays so Got some Createx Pearl uh, Blue, just right out of the bottle. Just spray, it, pour it in. I'm not going to spray a lot, but gives you an idea of how this sucker will spray. So let's kick this on and show you how well it does. So as you can see, it sprays pretty thick and really fast. So let's turn off the light, maybe get that glare away, and that's what I use it for. So it just keeps spraying it down and everything. Now I just put a couple drops in there, and that just blew that sucker out. It just really gets it out. So this cup, as you can see around the the rim type area, I usually fill up a lot up in there and run with it. But it cleans out very well. Don't have any issues with it. So I just threw in some cleaner Windex and... Gives you an idea how much it sprays. It real, if you're not careful, you can bleed, as you can see. It will bleed down if you spray too much and it's very watery. So I use it specifically for thicker paints that won't bleed, that do a nice coat, and you run with it. So, let's uh, clean up and do some final thoughts on it. Alright, so there you go. That is the CR Revolution from Maya with a uh, good sturdy airbrush. Gets those thick colors and paints out of the bottles no problem. Cleans up very well. And it is a cheap brush. But it's not a cheap in the sense where it's a cheap brush and you get what you pay for. And it's crappy and it drives you nuts. It's actually very well made. But it's cheap where, you know, if you're getting into airbrushing and you got your detailing brush. You got your semi-detailing brush. But you need that thick brush that really sprays some colors. Look into picking up one of these. It's really cool. It's really well made. So... Thanks for watching. Hopefully it helped you guys out and we'll see you next time with some more reviews.